So earlier tonight, President Trump, he got out of the D.C. sewer and swamp to make his message and take it directly to you, the American people, by holding a huge, large rally in West Virginia where he just eviscerated and slammed the Democrats and, of course, the media's obsession with Russia and the special counsel. Watch the president. The reason why Democrats only talk about the totally made-up Russia story is because they have no message, no agenda, and no vision. The Russia story is a total fabrication. It's just an excuse for the greatest loss in the history of American politics. That's all it is. What the prosecutors should be looking at are Hillary Clinton's 33,000 deleted emails. And they should be looking at the paid Russian speeches and the owned Russian companies. Or let them look at the uranium she sold that is now in the hands of very angry Russians. Most people know there were no Russians in our campaign. There never were. We didn't win because of Russia. We won because of you. That I can tell you. Now, the president, he's 100% right. Now, before President Trump fired up the crowd, the West Virginia governor, Jim Justice, he joined the commander in chief on the stage to announce he was leaving the Democrats and joining the Republican Party. This is more proof the Democratic Party is in total disarray. They have no agenda. And it's so simple to understand why those on the left, they have no message, no ideas, no real plan, and only hatred and animosity and resentment for President Trump. That does not help one American citizen have a better life or make us a safer country. Now, I'm going to combine right now the third and fourth stories of the night. The deep state strikes again. And the Wall Street Journal reporting tonight, Robert Mueller, the conflicted one, impaneling a Washington grand jury into this Russia probe. Now, if you have doubt what I have been telling you for months about the deep state in America, well, I just want you to take a look at the Washington Post. They're publishing transcripts of phone calls that President Trump had with the president of Mexico and the prime minister of Australia. Do you remember this ever happening before? And if you ever doubted media bias in this country, you need to do what I did. Read the transcripts of the phone calls. They are exactly what the president was promising all of you on the campaign trail. Yet the media, they distorted purposely what the president said, cherry picking his words. This type of thing never happened to President Obama or President Bush. As a matter of fact, President Trump, if you really look at it, he has faced leaks at a rate of seven times that's greater than the previous two administrations. Remember, at one point, we reported 125 leaks in 126 days, and we've been saying, and it's only getting worse every day. Now, here is the biggest danger in all of this. This is important. Now, 99% of our intelligence community. They put their lives on the line. They protect America against real evil in our time. North Korea, ISIS, Iran, radical Islam, China, Russia. They're doing a great job, 99.9%. These unprecedented leaks, illegal unprecedented leaks about the president, including conversations now with world leaders, it is shredding the United States Constitution before our very eyes. And when you add it all up, Major laws are being broken by this deep state. And as a result, these deep state actors are now being successful in preventing the president from fulfilling his promises to you, who you voted for, what you voted for. This is the greatest challenge of our time. And I don't overstate this. And what's happening now is this. The deep state, that one-tenth of one percent, they have now taken these powerful tools of intelligence and they are weaponizing them. These are tools that are supposed to be used to keep you, the American people, safe and to inflict, they're using it for, as much political damage to stop the president. And yes, they want to remove the president from office. Now, we're also learning more about these deep state actors. As of tonight, we have been telling you, the Wall Street Journal reporting that Mueller, okay, he's impaneled. A Washington, D.C. grand jury. Also tonight, according to another report, the FBI is looking into the finances of President Trump. Wait a minute, I thought it was about Russia. 
They're looking at his family. They're looking at campaign associates. They're looking now at the Trump organization. How is this about Russia? This, what I warned you about, investigative creep, is beyond the pale. This was supposed to be about Russian election collusion. Look how far it has now expanded. It is so deeply corrupt beyond anything I've seen in my lifetime. Robert Mueller is now carrying out a political witch hunt. And Mueller is close friends with James Comey, the star witness in the case, which could be a violation of two laws. But there's much more. Mueller has put together a Democratic hit squad that has donated tens of thousands of dollars to, let's see, Democrats, including Hillary and Barack Obama. Take a look at that chart on your screen. Eight of the 16 members of Mueller's team have made political donations to Democrats, while the other eight, according to public records, haven't donated at all. Oh, really? Not one Republican donor? Eight Democratic donors? Does that sound fair and impartial to you? Or does it sound more like a politically motivated witch hunt? Imagine if the tables had turned. A bunch of Republicans investigating a Democratic president. The left in this country would be in an uproar. The investigation would be stopped like this investigation should be stopped. And that, by the way, is only the beginning of Mueller's massive conflicts of interest. It is why earlier this week, Congressman Trent Franks called for Mueller to resign. And again, as my friend Greg Jarrett has pointed out, he'll join us in a minute, grand juries, you got to remember this, they are completely one-sided. Heavily favoring government prosecutors, defense attorneys are not allowed in to talk to the grand jury, and prosecutors can put forward any evidence they want. It's why they have the old saying, you can get a grand jury to indict a ham sandwich. This is now very serious, and this can't be ignored. Mueller conveniently picked, hand-picked, Washington, D.C. to impanel the grand jury. It's a city. Donald Trump got 4% of the vote. 4%. This is now the deep state gone rogue versus you, the people, and the president of the United States. The weapons of intelligence, the powerful weapons, have now been turned on the president and turned on you, the American people. And our Fourth Amendment rights are being trampled upon. Take a shredder. Crimes are being committed. Nobody is seemingly investigating. Also tonight, our fifth and final very important story. Who are these deep state operatives? We have more evidence now that the Obama administration weaponized the tools of intelligence in the intelligence community in part to target the president and his administration and the transition. This is what we refer to when we say the deep state. That is them shredding the Constitution. We don't have equal justice under the law. Leaking purposely, selectively, to undo the results of an election, to delegitimize the president. And as I said, if they can, they want to take him out of office. Take a look at this headline from the Washington Free Beacon. Former U.N. Ambassador Power unmasked hundreds in the final year of the Obama administration. And sources that spoke to the Free Beacon said that this was, quote, unprecedented for an official in her position. Why does she want this information as U.N. Ambassador? This is the type of thing we have been telling you about. We've been telling you and warning you about. Now, we also learned this week, thanks to our friend Sarah Carter, who will join us in a minute from Circa News, that former Obama national security uh, man, Ben Rhodes, is now the person of interest in the House Intelligence Committee's investigation. Also, Congress is questioning other Obama officials, Susan Rice, Brennan, about the unmasking. And don't forget, Comey, he too can be in trouble. And Sarah Carter, last week, reporting the FBI general counsel, he's under investigation for leaking classified information to the press. What's going on here? And the Hill's John Solomon has reported, the former Obama director of national intelligence, James Clapper, he made it easier for officials in the executive branch to unmask members of Congress and their staffers. All of this is not happening in a bubble. All of Hillary Clinton's email crimes, deleting, bleach bit, hammering devices, we have no special counsel for that. We don't have a special counsel for Uranium One, 20% of American uranium, 145 million in kickbacks. We don't have a special counsel for the Ukrainian election interference. What's the difference between that and Russia? We don't have a special counsel for those that are unmasking and leaking intelligence. We don't have a special counsel for Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, IT staffer. Why did they have broken hard drives in this guy's garage? We don't have a special counsel for Comey having his friend leak information to the press, removing government property from the FBI. 
This is now, this is how serious this is. This is a war between the deep state and you, the American people, and the President of the United States. This is a war against the Constitution. Constitu uh, crimes are now being committed. The pathetic Republicans in Congress have shown themselves to be impotent in a moment they are most needed. I'm going to tell you the most serious part. Tonight, if I'm in the Trump administration, or if I voted for President Trump like many of you did, I'd be concerned tonight because all that deep state noise we have been hearing from the left-wing media, the destroy Trump media, by the Democrats, by weak Republicans, has now led us to where we are today. I have been warning you every night for months. Now it's real. The deep state leaking, causing hysteria, is real. Media-induced, breathless hysteria is real. The hysteria, the noise has resulted in Mueller's hiring, Mueller's out for blood. Republicans are not doing anything. You, the American people, are the ones that are losing as a result of this sewer and swamp of D.C. And as of now, tonight, sadly I have to say, the advantage goes to the deep state. The advantage goes to the corrupt, lying establishment media. The advantage goes to corrupt Democrats. This is a huge loss for equal justice under the law, our constitutional republic. A huge loss for the Americans in poverty on food stamps out of work, the American people that voted for this president. A huge loss for the constitution that we love of the United States.